Let's take a look at an instructional software program for students. So this would be for student use. Either you would use it in a traditional setting, meaning the kids come to school and they're in physical education, you set up a station with the computer, and the kids would interact with the computer when they rotate to that station, or it can also be used for online learning. This month, we're gonna take a look at Problem Solving Complete. And there are several pieces to the Problem Solving Complete software. And you can download a demo version at our demo website. And there's a link to it on the podcast page. The first piece is the actual instructional software. Well, actually, the first piece is you need to download it. So you download the software to your computer. And the three pieces that you download are the instructional software, the electronic portfolio, and the electronic quiz. Once they're downloaded to your computer, depending upon whether you're using Macintosh or a Windows computer, you may need to unzip the files. On the Macintosh, you double click it to unzip the file. On the Windows machine, you right click and you select extract to unzip the file. Then on the Windows, you will install the software, and on the Macintosh, you will simply run it, as, as denoted here in the video. By the way, notice that we are using screencasting here to show you the steps. So now, let's take a look at the actual problem-solving instructional software. And so once it is open, you're presented with a copyright screen, followed by an introduction screen and the objectives that are met by using the instructional software. The instructional software has several different pieces to it so that it is aligned with all of the national standards and linked to all the state standards. So you have the aesthetics piece, you have the benefits piece, you have a fitness piece that talks about fitness and, and how it correlates with problem solving activities. Additionally, you have the history of problem solving activities and each of these is a link so you can click on it to get additional information. Then you have motor development which links with National Standard 2 and again each piece links like this skill related fitness and then each of these pieces of skill related fitness you may click on to learn more about it and how that aspect of skill-related fitness relates to problem-solving activities. Additionally, you have motor learning, so learning how to learn concepts such as feedback, goal-setting, mental practice, types of practice, stages of learning, and how that impacts problem-solving. And again, the name, problem-solving, includes all the different games that you can do to increase your problem-solving skills and your cooperative and other social skills. There are over 60 different problem-solving activities here and the students can print out the directions for the games and then actually implement the games themselves. There are also pictures, and we'll see in a moment that there are task cards that come with the software, so actually you do not have to print out from the software. You can simply use the task cards. A key piece of the problem-solving activities is the problem-solving process, and that's reviewed, as well as a variety of personal development skills related to National Standard 5, <clears throat> and in some cases 6. You'll also notice that as we talk about social skills, psychological skills, motor skills, that the skills are uh, shown both in English and in Spanish as well as in sign language with the whole idea that problem solving activities relate to inclusion. Here you'll see that you can rotate any of the skills so that you can get a 3D view of how the skill is performed. social skills again you have the uh, Spanish and you also have the sign language 
But the real key to instructional software are the interactive pieces. So here you'll see a variety of labs that the students can perform to reinforce their problem solving skills. So they can test their Spanish. They can play games that uh, simply on the computer, mind-bending types of games. How many triangles are there in this picture? There are also safety considerations in all sports. So there's a safety lab for the students where they have to match up the safety equipment with the actual sport. There are also a number of what would you do scenarios. So given this situation, what would be your response? And for each of these, the computer offers feedback to the user. And the biomechanics lab for those skills that are used in problem solving activities, how can you get better at those motor skills? Movement analysis, again, for those motor skills used in problem solving. What is wrong with this image? What can I do to get better? The next piece of the puzzle, or the comprehensive software, is the electronic portfolio. And here you would type in your standards, and there are six places for standards, such as aligned to the national standards. And then there are a wide variety of activities for students to complete in order to complete their electronic portfolio. So there are rubrics for students. They can look through and see for underhand tossing, as an example, what are the uh, six levels of the rubric. There are places for them to put in video clips of when they're first learning the skill and then later on. The next piece of the comprehensive software package are the task cards. And the task cards can be printed out. They come on a CD and they can be printed out for the students to actually use when they're engaging in the activities. The task cards are in both English and in Spanish. And it gives a physical activity component to the software package. The last component of the comprehensive problem solving package is the electronic quiz. And the quiz allows for more traditional assessment, whereas the electronic portfolio offered more alternative assessment. And so you can see here that it's actually an empty electronic quiz, but the package does come with questions for problem solving that can be imported into the package. And then you can decide as the teacher which questions to include on a particular quiz. The students can take the quiz on the computer and the quiz is scored for you automatically. The students simply line, uh, log in. They have their own ID so that uh, you know which student is actually taking the test. They can select which test if you have more than one there. And at the very end, the students are given the score for the quiz and the score is recorded for you. If it's not feasible for your students to take the quiz online or on a computer, you can also print out the quiz and students can take it with paper and pencil or with some type of bubble sheet that can be scanned in order to be graded.